time. Okay. So we're going to start going over the Gemara. And from this, we're going to get to more Pratim and Allah. So the Gemara sets, starts out with the three shittas in the Tanaim, Dafal Amadala, Tamad Beis. The Gemara, the, the Gemara starts off with Ben Ashmash, the Suffolk, Menayim, and Suffolk, Menalayla, and it's Suffolk Kulam, and I am Suffolk Kulam, and Alayla. And uh, the Gemara brings three shittas. And the Yehuda holds that, and uh, the holds that Ben Ashmash starts from Shkia. And within Shittas and Yehuda, there are two Shittas, Rabbi and Rabbi Yosef. Does it start after Hichsev Atachten, or does it start Kedem She Hichsev Atachten? Which means, does Ben Ashmash start right away by, by Shkia, or does Ben Ashmash start a little bit after? That's the two Shittas of Rabbi and Rabbi Yosef in Rabbi Yehuda. And Rabbi Nechemia says it starts right away by Shkia, but it goes Chatz in Mil. Now, Rabbi Yehuda, Based on these two shittas of Rabbi and Rabbi Yosef, one says it's, it's two-thirds of a mil, and one says it's three-quarters of a mil. So again, we have shittas of Rabbi Yehuda. So Laila begins either three-quarters of a mil after Shkia, and it begins at Shkia. According to Rabbi Yosef, it begins a little bit after Shkia, I mean, it goes only two-thirds. But the Pashtas, they both end at three-quarters of a mil after Shkia. According to Rabbi Yosef, it starts a little later because Hichsev Atachten is still, till Hichsev Atachten is still young. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're clear. Yeah. So again, these are the two shittas in Rabbi Huda, and that's going to be very much important because this is the Piske Alochas. So again, according to Rabbi, Shkia begins right, I'm sorry, Ben Ashmashes begins right at Ben Ashmashes. It continues for three quarters of a mil. According to Rabbi Yosef, the Gemara says clearly it's a lishutase. Um, according to Rabbi Yosef, it begins a little later, only at after hichsev atachten, and therefore it only takes two thirds of a mil to till it ends. But apparently the end is both the same. Then comes shittas of Nehemia. It starts from Shkia, It goes chatzim mil. And then comes Shittas of Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi says it's Keherevayim. Zeanechnes v'zeyeitza, which means there is really no Ben Ashmashas. It's a split second that the day goes out, and the night comes in, the new day comes in, and there is no real, there's really no Ben Ashmashas. However, however, when it comes to Psaq Alocha, Psaq Alocha, the Gemara says, that when it's Lechumre, we have to follow both Shittas, which means, if one wants to eat truma, which has to be after Herav Shemesh, has to be dafka after Shittas Reb Yosi. Because the Gemara explains that Shittas Reb Yosi starts, this Herav Ayin starts right after Reb Yehuda. It's not, it doesn't coincide, it doesn't go at the same time as Reb Yehuda. It's dafka after Reb Yehuda finishes. And Bamela, if you want to eat truma, which means the, in the same thing as the Gabba Metzoy Shabbos, you don't want to know for sure it's Laila. You have to wait the whole of the Behuda, which is three quarters of a mil. And then you have to wait another Hervayan for Rabbi Yesi. Masha Enkein, if one wants to table or wants, wants to know when to bring in Erev Shabbos, when does one bring in Erev Shabbos? They have to be Machma like Rabbi Yehuda, that right by Shkia. Starts Ben Ashmoshes. So you can't table anymore. Maybe it's the next day. Or you can't do a malacha out of Shabbos. So that's how we know the halacha is. And that's Psaka halacha lemaisa. That what? That Lagabe out of Shabbos, you start with the Yehuda. After that, you have Safik, Ben Ashmoshes. Lagabe Mitzay Shabbos, you wait till after the Yehuda. Comes Toysis and Daf Lamed Hey Amad Beis. And Toysis asks Akasha, why do we deal with such nitty gritty, with such a nuance of a head of iron? We're not malachim. If you know this man is 925, you anyway wait till 925 and a half or in a quarter, something like that, because you're not a malach. So this head of iron, how could the Gemara say is a psak Oh, wait a second. Don't do like Yerib Yehuda. Be machma like Yerib Yehuda. Wait another head of iron. Makes no sense. Therefore, the Taisu says 
We know that Rabbi Yossi is after Rabbi Yehuda, but we don't know, is it exactly a second after? When does it start? And Rabbi Yossi says there is no Bein Hashmoshes. So the whole thing takes the head of iron. But when is that head of iron? So Tesis, it could be it's a minute or two, somewhat. The Alter Rebbe in, in Seder Achnas Shabbos, it's interesting over there, the Alter Rebbe gives it up to two minutes, which we'll see when we learn Seder Achnas Shabbos. So apparently, so you have Shittas so Rabbi Yehuda, head of Shabbos, you start from Shkia. But so is Shabbos, you have to add another two minutes because otherwise, it says Tesis, it wouldn't make sense to add another head of iron. So we're adding the head of iron because of Rabbi Yossi, and it might be that it's two minutes after Rabbi Yehuda's Shkia. So that's how we know Shabbos. However, here comes the main sugya. Teisus, the Ramaschel, Trey Tilsemil, comes with his famous kasha. That in Psachem, we learn the same Rabbi Yehuda saying that Dalad Mil, it takes Dalad Mil to go from Shkia till Tzayzak Yechav. And it's the same with Rabbi Yehuda. Here, Rabbi Yehuda says that three quarters of a mil after nightfall is already Lila. And there, he says it takes four mil. So, what do you do when you have a stira? You have to reconcile. Either you're going to say that Shabbos meant like Masech Tepsachem, or you're going to say Masech Tepsachem really meant like Shabbos. And we'll have to, you know, reconcile the wording in somehow. So Teisvus says the main Allah is like Psachim, that it takes Dalat Mil from Shkia till Teisach So the Shkia that we see, which is called Sunset, if you want to know when Mitzvah Shabbos is, according to the Yehuda, is you have to wait four mil, which we passed us at 72 minutes. We'll have a discussion on that separately later. So it's 72 minutes, which is four mil, and that's when Mitzvah Shabbos is. Of course, according to Tesis, you have to also add the Rabbi Yossi, which the Chudet, another minute or two, as we said before, the head of Ayin, plus it might be a minute after Rabbi Yehuda. That's when Mitzvah Shabbos is. I, the Gemara in Shabbos says, it's a three-quarter mil right after Shkia. It's Tesis, Machadash, there are two Shkias. It's called Tchila Shkia, and, so, and Mishatishka Hachama and Shkia Sachama. In Gantshas, usually it's expressed as Shkia Sachama. Shkia Sachama is an astrono- astronomical thing, it's a scientific Matthias, where you see the sun, the ball of the sun dropping below the horizon. You stand at the sea level, which is straight, you look far, far, far away, and you see the sun. When it's sunken in that you can't see it, that's called Shkia Sachama. But over here, the Gemara, look into the Gemara. The Gemara doesn't say Mishkiya Sachama. The Gemara says Mishatishka Hachama. Says Teisvus, that that means the second Shkia. So let me try to explain to you to this. In Psachim Tzadik Hei Amad Beis, the Gemara says there's a machlekes between Chachma Yisrael and Chachma Umisrael. Chachma Yisrael claimed that the world is flat. The Gemara doesn't say it clearly. They said that the world is flat, but they said that the sun at night, when it go, gets to the horizon and it disappears, so the Gemara, the Chachm Yisrael said, it doesn't go under. Chachm Yisrael said, it enters into the Kia. There's a Kippa of the Kia around the earth, and the horizon, the two points of the horizon is where heaven kisses earth, and the sun at night goes into the Kia. It takes a while to enter, penetrates the whole Rikia. And then overnight, it goes around the buff Rikia. That's why we don't see it. In the morning, it penetrates the other horizon back through the whole Rikia. And at sunrise, what we see is this ball coming out from the horizon. That's sunrise. Oyebazoi, there's a thickness of Rikia. And that's what the Gemara said, how thick. The Gemara made a cheshman. The hay mill or the dalot mill, the two shittas, is depending on the thickness of the rikia. So therefore, according to this, Tesis explains, when you see shkia with your eyes, that's called shkia sachama, it's called sunset. That's scientific shkia sachama. But why is it still light out there? You don't see the sun anymore. Because there's a chalan, there's a hole through the whole rikia. 
the sun is still shining out. And therefore, when it gets to the very end of it, when it starts to get very dark by us, that's called Mishatishka Hachama. That's the second Shkia. That's the Shkia the Gemara Masech the Shabbos is talking about. From that Shkia till it finally finishes the whole Uve Yarekia, and then it takes a turn that you can't see light anymore because it goes above and it goes outside the, the Rekia, from behind the Rekia. At that point, you see all stars because it's so pitch dark that you see the stars. So according to Teisvus, that's when Tzeis HaKechavim is. And according to, and Shkia Sachama is three quarters of a mil earlier. So that's how Teisvus reconciles the two sugyas. From Shkia Sachama till Tzeis HaKechavim, Shkia Sachamim is the first Shkia. That takes Dalad Mil. But Mishatishka Achama is somewhat later. That takes, that is three, uh, is three mils and a quarter after the regular Shkia. That's when Ben Ashmasha starts. This is how a lot of Rishonim, that we know the Ram, the Ramban, the Rosh, and Toysus Paskin, and this is how the Beshesim and the Mechaber Bepashtus, the way we learn the pastors in Simeresh Samachalov. And this is how the Alter Rebbe himself in Simeresh Samachalov in Shulchan Aruch Pasuk. And therefore the Alter Rebbe says, and the Shulchan Aruch says, that if one needs to be Moise of Teis for Shabbos, you cannot be Moise of Teis for Shabbos when it's Ben Hashmoshes. Then it's Ashem Tolu. It's a Safu Kodesh. That's not called Teisus. Teisus means you add your own. So it's a Sasei to add your own. So the Alter Rebbe says, the Shulchan Aruch says, from Shkia, from sunset, the first Shkia, till three mil and a quarter, which is 58 and a half minutes, that's the time you have to decide when do you want to be Makabal Shabbos. You could be Moisif for when you want. The Ramo adds, you could be also Moisif from Plaga Mincha. Yeah? But the Pashtas is a Lashon Shachnar. If you Moisif from Shkia Sachama, and that's your own, but you have a Breda not to be Moisif till a few minutes before the second Shkia. That's where the Minik Ha'olam is, that those people who dive in Mincha to 45, 48, 50 minutes after Shkia, is based on this Saka Lacha, from this uh, Shittah Satesis. Yeah? However, we're going to learn in the Alter Rebbe, and say that Achnas Shabbos, we're going to learn that the Shittah Sagiyayna, they will answer the Teretz Punkt Farkeh. And let's, let's uh, bring it down right now. They answer Pung the opposite. That's the Shittas Maram al Shakir, which is from the Gia. It brings down from Shittas Agiyayna. And he says as follows that the Gemara in Shabbos is the marker for Hilcha Shabbos. So you want to know how Locha, when Shabbos is, you look in Sechta Shabbos. Here it says clearly that from Shkia, three quarters of a mil later is Laila. And three quarters of a mil, which is about 13 and a half minutes, that's what Ben Hashemosh says. I, the Gemarim Psachim says it's Dalat Mil. That's Dalat Mil to Tseis Kol HaKoychavim. That is a scientific, astronomical term, not a halacha term. Because if you look into the Gemara and Daf Lamed Hei Amad Beis, the Gemara says, Amad of Yudah Mishmu, Koychav Echad Yoyim. Shnayim is Bein Hashmoshes. Shloisha is Laila. And the Gemara says, Tanya Nama Hocha Braisa. Koicha Vechad Yoyim. Shnayim Bein Hashmoshes. Shloisha is Laila. Amar Ibi Yoisi. Loi Kichavim Gidoilam Anirim Bayoyim. Veloi Kichavim Kitanim She'ein Nirim Elo Balayla. Elo Beinanim. Is a Kloda Halacha as boss. That there are many Koichavim that we won't see till much later. Till it's pitch dark. But that doesn't um that doesn't qualify for Kechavim Beinadim. That's other Kechavim. But that doesn't make the criteria what makes day or night halachically. There's science and there's halacha. Halacha says, Gimel Kechavim Beinadim is Laila. Ibn Meilis Dostira says, why? And Ibn Huda says that after Bein Hashemosh, is three quarters of a, I'm sorry, after Shkia is right away Bein Hashemosh. Three quarters of a mil later, we could see Gimel Kechavim Beinadim. And that has a din line. What does the Gemara in Pesachim say? That how long does it take till it becomes pitch dark? Till you see all the Kechavim. It doesn't say over there, 
Tseisak. Over there, Tseisak Echavah means Tseiskalak Echavah. And therefore, that's one, that's, that takes four mil, but that has no bearing in Alacha. In Alacha, you go after Shkia. So, Kum Techois, according to this, that 13 and a half minutes after Shkia, you could do a Malacha Metzoy Shabbos. So, Chaz Shalom, don't jump yet and do that. Chaz Shalom. As we're going to learn the Alter Rebbe inside, um, we're going to discuss these, these Pratam. So, we do something in between. Which is very interesting. We don't wait 72 minutes to do not uh, to do a malacha mitzvah Shabbos. We do much less. We wait much less. However, nobody does a malacha 13 and a half minutes after shkia. We wait much longer than that. So that in between will be the discussion with the Alter Rebbe. Will bring out clear and say the Rachnos Shabbos. Then. Um, Just to explain the Gemara, the, the Gemara says that we don't look at Mizrach, Hichsevel, and Hichsevatach. The Gemara says means actually we look at Mairef. And, um, and, uh, and what Taisu was, was also bothered by a few other Kashas. Taisu was, was bothered. Why do we have to have a machlekes and a nechemi and a Yehuda? And what's the discussion? Let's go dalat mil, and we'll know when Lila is. So Taisu says we don't know exactly what is an adam benenu, so we, we can't figure it really out. But what comes out very interesting, according to Taisu shit, according to the Benitam, it's very interesting that when you talk about shkia hanidus, every every kid could figure that out. Stand at sea level, look at a very flat place and watch the sunset. You know when sunset is today, you know, you could you could um, Google it. You could find out exactly every second in the world when Shkia is, when sunset is. It's a very practical, scientific thing. But when is the second Shkia? Nobody knows. So you have to go like this. So you have to go 72 minutes from the first Shkia till Tseisa Kechavim. That's what the many times Tseisa Kechavim is. And then, because you know what Rabbi Yehuda says, there's Bein is 13 and a half minutes or three quarters of a mil, so you go backwards. You go first to 72 minutes. That's easy to figure out. And then you take off three quarters of a mil, and you say, ah, now starts Shkia Hashniya. Or you do the other way. You go three mil and a quarter from Shkia, and you say, ah, now starts the Behudas Bein Hashmoshes. And you add 13 and a half minutes, and they say, oh, now it says HaKechavim. Which is a very interesting chesh, but the Behuda wants to give you a clear thing. He tells you, look at Shkia, and wait three quarters of a mil, and that's when it's Lila. But according to the Rebbein Tam, you can't do that, because you don't know when Shkia is. We're not talking about Chil Shkia. We're talking about this Halachic Shkia, which is a second Shkia. By the way, there are those, and even back in the Rishonim, I think it's a place of Zerit, or maybe in the Rebbein Hanan, um, that they discuss, L'chayra, how can you follow Shittas Rebbein Itam, when the Gemara says clearly in Psachem, Hoidu Chachmu Yisrael, L'chachmu Misrael. So the Gemara says clearly that Chachmu Yisrael are made that the world is round. The Masha explains that Chachmu Yisrael meant completely something else when they were arguing. So, but they always held, they always hold like Chachmu Misrael in that Prat, that the sun really goes around the earth. There's no such a thing as Uve Erekia. So the whole thing of the of Shkia and Saif Shkia is based on Uve Erekia. It goes into the Chalen, and when it ends the Chalen, that's when it's Lila. We don't have such a thing. The sun actually goes under the earth. It, 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 it drops under the horizon. So what's the Pshat? So the Shainam answered that it's not a Stira. And the Chanama that the Benitam uses the Lashainas of Chachme Yisrael, that Chachme Yisrael used. But the concept is the same. What happens right after Shkia? Is it pitch dark by us? Absolutely not. Why? Even though there's no Uve Rikia, there's no Chale. Because the sun is not, didn't drop enough below the horizon that its light shouldn't enter the earth, shouldn't enter the universe. It's still, it's below the horizon. So the sun ray itself, the sun, the ball, you can't see. But its rays are shining up. 
And on a tall mountain, if you look up on a tall mountain, even after Shkia, you will see the sun rays because the sun is still on a certain angle until it dips, dips very low underneath. So then it doesn't send any, any rays out anymore. So the same concept that the Rabbi Tam explains with Uwe Rikia, we could explain today as well. That what? That when the sun goes, when the regular sunset happens, that's called Chilas Shkia. That's called Shkia Sachama. But it's really not halachic shkia because we still see light. So it takes three mils and a quarter till it's dipped low enough that the, sve- the suffix starts, when Ashmash starts. And it takes another three quarters of a mil till it's final, we know it's night. That's the mahalach according to the regular Shechanarach and according to the Rabbeinu Tam. Before we go right there, we learned the Gemara in, in Psachem. So so I, I, I want to come to discuss first what the sheer mill is. So when we get to the Alter Rebbe, we'll have that also because that will in, be included in this whole discussion. So now we should know like this. The Gemara says very clear that from the Neitzah Chama till Shkia, the Gemara says from Neitzah Chama till Shkia is 30 mil. According to the Shitta that you have Chamish Milan from Alois to Neitz and Chamish Milan from Shkia to Tzais. So the rest of the 40 mil, which is Asada Parsois, is from the Neitz to Shkia. The Gemara says very clearly that the first half of the day till Chatzois is 15 mil, and from Chatzois to Shkia, says the Gemara clearly, from Chatzois to Shkia is another 15 mil. Yeah? Ha- however, the Gemara later on says to Yufta, because on the Braisa, it says it's only 4 mil. So it's 4 mil from the Alois till, till Neitz, 4 mil from Shkia till Tzais Hakechav. And that's what the Rebbe Netan was dealing with, Psak Halacha, like the Gemara says to Yufta, it's 4 mil, not, dal- not hay mil, it's four mil. Like the Gemara Firto is a brisa, but it's four mil. Now, how can we come to a cheshbon to know exactly how much time a mil takes? We're talking abstract the whole time. Dalad mil, hay mil. How, how long does a mil take? Tesis himself says clearly, we don't know exactly what an Adam Bainan means. How do we figure that out? Yeah? So how do we figure that out? So we know like this. We know a day has 12 hours, an average day. Of course, days could be 18 hours. The days could be, in, it depends on which, in which place, and which latitude. It could be, uh, you know, 22 hours. So obviously, when the Gemara talks about a day, we're talking an average day, which is Yemen, Nisim, and Tishrei, which an average day is how much? Is 12 hours. 12 hours is 720 minutes. Are you with me, Chavrim? Seven hours, uh, 12 hours and 720 minutes. If you take 720 minutes, if you learn the way the Rambam Paskins, that it's hay mill. From Shkia to Tzais is hay mill. I, the Gemara said to Yufta, so, uh, the Rambam comes to that, there are many Paskim who bring down the Maisa that it's hay mill. Even though the Gemara said to Yufta, it's only Dalad mill, they bring down for many Paskim. That it's Hamil. Okay? So take off in the morning from Asada Parsas, take off. So, so, so before that, in, we said we have to have an average day. In an average day, when do you have 12 hours? From when to when? Help me out. In an average day, 12 hours is from when to when? Six to six. Six to six, but that is what? From Alois to Tzais or from Nates to Shkia? Nates to Shkia. 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 Nates to Shkia.
or your capital law, you could use that too. It's acceptable. Yeah, you have yeah 720 divided by 30 will be 24. 140, uh, 24. Will be 24. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you take 720, which is 12 hours, you take 720 and you take 720 divided, which is 12 hours divided by 30, you end up having 24. So that's 24 minutes to every mil. The grow, he takes the, like the simple pshat in the Gemara that the Gemara says to Yufta, and therefore he does not pass like the Rambam, and he says it's not five mil, it's four mil. And therefore, again, but the same cheshman, the day is from Nate till Shkia. That's a day. That's an average day of Yudbe choice. If you go Yeme Nis, Yeme Tishre, that's an average day. And therefore, you take off four hours, four mil from the morning and four mil from the evening, you end up having Lamad base mil. Take 720 minutes, divide them by 32, you'll end up that a mil is 22 and a half minutes. That's Shita Sagra. Yeah? And now, let's bring in another Machlekes before we go to the next Shita, which is Shita Samagana Avram. There is a Machlekes in Simer Eish Lamed Gimel. And Hilchas Mincha. There's a Machlekes between the Trumas Hadeshen and the Lavush. The Trumas Hadeshen says that every day when Chazal say a day, a day means from Aloysa Shachad till say Sakechav. And it would make a lot of sense. Why? Because the halacha is, my Aloysa Shachad, if you did any mitzvah, but the Abbot, you were Yetzim. My Aloysa Shachad is Yayim. And there's not even a Bein Hashmoshes in the morning. It's from when the Dadan is, it's 72 minutes before before Alois, at least according to many shittas, yeah, it's, um, yeah before, before Nate, that's when the day starts. When, according to the Rabbeinu Tam, when does the day end? Tzaysak Yechavim is 72 minutes, Dalad Mil after, after Shkia, yeah? So therefore, when Chazal say a yayim, a yayim is not scientific terms, it's not astronomical, astronomy, it's, it's about halacha. So if halacha starts, day starts by, by Alois, and day finishes at Seis, or you have a few minutes before, which is Ben Ashmashes, but the day really finishes Bavadai at Seis. So if Chazal say a day, it means from Alois till, till Seis HaKechav. Says the Truma Sadesha, therefore, when it comes to Krishna, Zman Krishna, Zman Tvila, Tvila Samincha, Plaga Mincha, how do you do? Tfilis, we know that it all goes according to Shoy's money. It's what is Shoy's money is meaning that Krishna is three hours on the day, is, four, is three hours on the day. Zman Tvil is four hours on the day, which four hours, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Three hours of the day means a quarter of the day because three out of four, uh, out of 12 is four. Four hours of the day means a third of the day. What is a third of the day? So according to Tzuruba Sadashan, how do you figure out Zman Krishna? You start from the early morning from the Aloy Sashachat. And you count the day till Tzai And that's the day. And in Nisan and Tishri, it's not 12 hours, it's 14 hours. A little more. It's an hour and 12 minutes added from each side. And that's the day. And that you divide into four Chalakim, and the first quarter is Zman Krishna, into three Chalakim, the first third, is Zman Tvila. And so too when it comes to Sav Zman Achilles Chomet, Sav Zman Zreifus Chomet, all is dependent on that stretch of the day, starting from Alisa Shachar, ending at Tzai Sakechav. So too Plaga Mincha. Plaga Mincha is you take the afternoon, and the whole afternoon is six hours, depending, a long day is longer hours, a short day is shorter hours, it's called Shoy Zman yes. You take out the middle hour, which is the Zman Ashkita itself, before that, before the middle hour, is called Mincha Gidela. After the middle hour starts Mincha Kitana, which is the afternoon is what? Six, 
hours. You take out one hour in the middle, you're left with five hours. Yeah, so you have two and a half hours before, two and a half hours after, and that's Mincha Kitana. And then you split the Mincha Kitana into half. That's called Plag HaMincha, half of Mincha time. That's Plag HaMincha. The question is, what is that time? So if you learn like the Trumas Adeshen, Plag HaMincha, the afternoon is counted from 12 to Tzaysa Kichavim. That's split in half, take out one hour in the middle, and then you have two hours, two hours, um, two and a half hours before, two and a half hours after, but that goes all the way till Tzaysa Kichavim. The Sittas Halavush is, no, even though halachically you could do uh, uh, your yates if you read the Megillah from Alisa Shacha, even though halachically the day begins from Alisa Shacha, and the day ends at Tzaysa Kichavim, and it's possible that the Levush Paschus like the Rebbeinu Tam as well, that many Yachrenim say, that is very possible, that he holds really the day, Taki goes to the halachic day till, you, till when you have to keep Shabbos, or still Tzaysa Kichavim. Nevertheless, when Chazal say divide a day, we're talking about an average day. An average day is 12 hours. When they say about Mahalach Adam Benini Bayayim, they mean what day? Yayim and Nisn, Yayim and Tishri. Yayim and Nisn, Yayim and Tishri is not 12 hours from Alois to Tzais, it's from Nates to Shkia. And therefore, they count Zman Krishma three hours from the day. It starts from Nates Acham. Tulshkiya Sachama is the day. Divide that. Ah, you yoitza, if you said Krishna, you yoitza befedish before Neitzachama. That's true. You take yoitza. Krishna could start from, from Alois or from Mishiyakir or whatever. You yoitza. But nevertheless, yoim, when you say the three hours of the day, starts from Neitz. So to Plaga Mincha. We don't count after Shkia. From Chatzois, 12 o'clock till Shkia is six hours. So when it comes to Yemen, Nisan, and Tisha, it's exactly six hours. Take out one hour in the middle. You have two and a half hours before, two and a half hours after. Plaga Mincha is half of that. It's exactly an hour and a quarter before Shkia is Plaga Mincha. So now, so, the, so now you learned on the site another Machlekes, which is Nagei Lagabe Krishma, which you see in all the Luchas, the calendars today. You have the Zman Krishma Shalmagan Avram is always 36 minutes earlier than the Alter Abizma. Why? Because you're adding 72 in the morning and you're adding 72 in the afternoon, twice. But Krishna is only a quarter of that. So Man Krishna is a, is a quarter of the day. Yeah? So it comes out 36 minutes um, um, earlier than if you start 72 minutes later in the morning and 72 minutes less in the lighter. So the Alter Rebbe and the Gerozman is always much, um, is, um, I think I, I think the Cheshman is, Krishna is always 36 minutes and Zmantvil is always 24 minutes. I think so. I didn't double check it now. Okay? And that's based on these two machlaikas, the two shit, the Truma Sadeshan, the Magavram Paschus, like the Truma Sadeshan, and, uh, and uh, the Alter Rebbe Paschus like the Levush. The Magavram was also trying to side with the Levush, Said it makes more sense with the Gemara. Nevertheless, at Farem for the maybe even the Levush means like the Truma Sadesh, the Magavram goes with the Truma Sadesh. So now coming back, now that we know the Truma Sadesh, now coming back to our earlier discussion. Now that we know when the Gemara says Yoim, according to the Truma Sadesh, it means what? What does Yoim mean? Can you help me? From Alois to Tzais. From Alois to Tzais. So therefore, when the Gemara says Mahalachadim Beinani Bayim, Asada Parsais, and we understood that it means an average day, which is Yud Beis Shais. What does that mean? Yud Beis Shais from when to when? Alois to Tzeis. From Alois to Tzeis. That's not Yem and Isn Yem There must be it's the middle of the winter, which is the shortest night somehow. And from Alois to Tzeis, it's twelve hours, which is one of the interesting things. But he he still means twelve sixty minute hours. An average day, we know that an average day is 12 hours, no? What do you mean average day? When we say day and night, for argument discussion, it's 12 hours day, 12 hours night. Yeah, but we mean, when we say average, means that it's the middle, meaning the winter and the summer. I, I understand. That's one of the questions that people ask 
on 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 the on the Tumas of Dashus Mahalach. That the, the Gemara is saying Mahalach Adam Bein in the Biyayim. It's obviously we're talking about twelve hours, but that that's not an average. That's the middle of the winter. If you say like the Levush, that's from Nates to Shkia. That's average. That's Nissan and Tishrei. But if you say like the Magan Avram, it's interesting. But that's how it comes out according to the Magan Avram. So take 12 hours from when the day means from Alois till face. That's the day. Yeah? And now take off. So now when you say from Alois till Nates is four mil, it's not taken out of the 12 hours. It's true. It's all within the 12 hours. The day is 12 hours from Alois to Tzais. Within that, you have from Alois to Nates is four mil, and from Nates to, from Tzais to Shkia is another four mil, fine. But it doesn't change the matzav that from Alois to Tzais is 12 hours. Oye Bazoi, now, what do you do? Take and, and how many mil is that, says the Gemara, from Alois to Tzais is full 40 mil. Now you are taking 720 minutes, which is 12 hours, and you divide 720 by 40. Okay. How much is that? 18 minutes. So this is where the common notion, because most posts can follow the Morgan Avram, that's how the Alter Rebbe did also in Shulchan Aruch. And the Morgan Avram is so You follow the Truma Sadesh. So if you follow the Truma Sadesh, and therefore the day begins from Alois, it goes to Tzais. That's when the Gemara means as Mahalach Adam Bein in Yasara Pasois Bayoim, means a Yoim from Alois to Tzais, which is 12 hours. What the Gemara tells you after that, that it's four, four mil from Alois to Shkia, I'm sorry, to Nates, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't, doesn't minimize the 40. Parsois is still going to be divided by 12 hours. It happens to be that till, till um, Nates is four, four mil. But the, the full Asado Parsois is not from Nates to Tzais and from Nates to, to Shkia, it's from Alois to Shkia. And therefore, you have to take the full 12 hours, 720 minutes, and divide them by the full 40 mil. And therefore, you get to 18 minutes. Okay? So now, coming back to our discussion, so that's why when we use the Rebbeinu Tam, we always set four mil, and we always use the Lashen 72 minutes. We always use the Lashen for three quarters of a mil, we always use the Lashen uh, 13 and a half minutes, or second Shkia begins 58 and a half minutes after the first Shkia. It's all Meyusat on this Trumas that day really is counted from Alois to Tzais, and therefore the cheshbon of a mill is 18 minutes. And it's also based on the cheshbon of Pesach Aloha of the Gemara, that the, it's not hay mill, it's dalat mill. So that's why the Rabbeinu Tam says dalat mill is when the, the that's when Tzais is. And, and the dalat or hay mill doesn't affect the 18 minutes. The, the length of the mill doesn't matter because we're saying 40 if by 720. If you hold like the Truma you're right. If you hold like the Truma Sadashan, Dalot the hay mill doesn't make any difference Legaba, the size of a sheer mill. But why does the Rebbeinu Tam say that after Dalot the millen is, 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 is Lila, maybe after hay mill is Lila? Why 72 okay. minutes? Okay. Let it be, let it be 96 mark. minutes. Five, let okay. it be five times, or hour and a half, whatever the Cheshman is. Let it be five times five times uh, 18. The answer is because they happen to Paskin and the many time in the Manga Rome, also Paskin, like the Shitta of the Biscano Sagamara, that is Dalat Mill. However, the Alter Rebbe will Paskin like the Levush, and, the, and also Paskin like the Rambam, that it's Hay Mill, and therefore the day Yud Beishares is from the Nates to Shkia, and therefore the Cheshman comes out to that a mill happens to be 24 minutes, but ne- nevertheless, when it comes to Shabbos and Menash Moshes, it's a completely different cheshman because on based on, he's going to pass him like the Maram al that Shkia starts Menash Moshes. And the 13 and a half minutes is counted right after Ben Hash So for more details, and Yetz Hashem learning inside the Seder Achnas Shabbos and the Alter Rebbe, Yetz Hashem will be for next year.
So we'll see tomorrow. Maybe we'll start with the Shir first and then you'll have Chazarit. Okay? Hatzlach Arabim, Meflog, Zayt, Matzliach.